Hello everyone and welcome to That Is A Joke and today I'm going to bring you another of our new video series uh, arcade uh, retro arcade games versus their console uh, retro console ports and uh, knowing uh, <clears throat> back in the 80s some of the ports weren't that good some of them were okay some of them were passable some of them were absolutely crap and today we're going to be showcasing good old Zack Song, one of my favorite games actually. <clears throat> this game came out in 1982 by Sega and the first time I saw this was unbelievable because it was actually true 3D isometric uh, play and it was just phenomenal. Like you, you've never seen anything like this before. That, <clears throat> that was the... Um, that was the just it, it what can i say it was like one of the best games around the amount of quarters i pumped into this thing were unbelievable so anyways let's give it a try let's take a look throw in a quarter in there <clears throat> and this game was not easy the isometric gameplay kind of threw you off a little bit uh, and also using explosions by the wall, ooh, things fire at you, at the wall like this, could tell you when you actually cleared it. Uh, go back down again. And you always have to get fuel. And off into space now. And this again was difficult because the crosshairs only show up when they're in front of you, so you know you're at the, at the same altitude as they are yeah I'm actually doing not too bad this morning uh, satellite went by come on come on come on come on oh. well that's another thing I never noticed there's a lock-on tone oh here we go level two this is starts getting a little bit dicier here uh, okay, made it. That's usually uh, uh, see. You don't you don't get that altitude right. You're dead. Ah, uh, down. Got it. Okay, this one you should be able to just go by normal. No uh, doubt. Oh, made that too. Wow, I'm actually ah. Uh. Okay, made that. Uh. And cleared that. Oh, uh, down. Oh, and now I go up against good old Zaxxon. Okay, folks, I haven't done this in like forever. Ah! And I got the high score so far. I'm impressed. Come on. Ah! Uh. Yes, the boss is not easy. And look at that, even... Oh, let's put in my my good old name. Good old dad. And we'll end it right there. Huh, not bad. So, to destroy Zaxxon himself, you have to destroy the robots, uh, the destroy robots rockets with six hits. Well, it looks like I didn't do it. Let's put it in another quarter. Let's go. Now watch me just totally suck out. Oh God, I'm doing actually okay. I hate those ICBMs that are l launching there. It's so... Again, without a problem. What the hell, man? I'm usually brutal at this game. Well, and I, I was as a kid, too. I could never make it at this... Uh, when I used to put in quarters, making it into space was next to impossible. But the game was so much fun, I didn't care. Uh, 
13 more planes to destroy. Ah. Ooh, last second kill. Ah. Oh, here we go. I only got seven planes. Oh. oh my god, are you serious? Okay, there we go. Pretty much full on gas. Oh, down, down, down. Ah. That was close. Okay, good old Zaxxon time. Oh, I got it! I got it, I got it, I got it! I don't believe this! Ah! This is awesome! Okay, I'm in uncharted territories right now. I've never played this map. Oh, that, they made it really hard there for me. Uh, uh. Oh, it's a rehash of the first one, but everything's firing at me now. And the fuel... Ah! Fuel's going down faster and faster. Okay, made it, made it, made it, made it. High score again, folks. That's my personal best. Well, we'll see when I finish. Come on. Why is it so hard to hit them? No, oh, somebody came back. Oh. Okay, I have a feeling. Oh my god, look how tiny that is. Okay. Need fuel big time. Oh! Oops! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, again. Oh! 23,200. Amazing. Amazing. This, you're seeing history made right here. I've never, I've never, ever done this well. Never. And. Okay, folks. Let's go now to the Atari 26, the attempt on the Atari 2600 to do Zaxxon. Okay. Now, I'm not going to beat around the bush. You can see in the little demo here. I'll, I'll just run and you guys take a look and let me know what you think because to me this was an absolutely crap attempt at the game absolutely no thing no two ways about it they didn't even go isometric they didn't even try they just went straight ahead 3d style and it was brutal at least you got the up and down motion but I don't know you know like Am I too high? Like, what, what, I don't understand here. What, what, okay, the idea is there. Like, what is that black line? Am I going to die? Like, what? Okay, I can't get through that. Ah, oh, there we go. Just b brutal. Brutal, totally. It's not even the same game. And quite honestly, the people who made this game was ColecoVision, okay? And ColecoVision, which I'm going to show you next, their attempt at Zaxxon, which was a lot better. They put this out for the 2600 because ColecoVision decided to expand their sales by... Yeah, right into the wall. Like, I don't know how high that wall is. How can I tell? Like, uh, I don't understand. 
So ColecoVision made a whole bunch of po uh, ports from their catalog to the Atari 2600. And rumor has it that ColecoVision actually, like, see, I don't know if I'm high, if they're high or low. Yeah, like, it's so hard to tell. Uh, Coleco decided to make the most poor ass shit last second ports just to fill in more cartridges for the Atari 2600 because they knew the Atari 2600 was the most popular console back in the day even though the ColecoVision was way more superior by us should we run it again yeah I'll put you guys through this um, they decided to make poor ass ports to convince people oh look how crap this is maybe I should go buy a ColecoVision the fuck how, how did I know it so that was the rumor that they made on purpose crap ports so you can go and buy a, a brand new ColecoVision oh man this is so oh this is bad I'm getting out of here okay now let's do the ColecoVision and you'll see what they've done I mean what they've done was amazing and actually a triumph to the original Sega um, what's it called um, the original Sega sort of idea and design behind the game okay good old ColecoVision and funny thing is back in the day the ColecoVision was a bloody expensive unit it was not cheap compared to the Atari. The Atari was already out from 1977 and by 1982-83 they had a price drop to 100 bucks and then just the, the the Atari took off at that point. It just took off because of the price point. Okay, here we go. Hello. There we go. Look at this. So much better. The whole isometric thing was there. Right now, because the the memory capabilities of the cartridges back then, you couldn't fill the game with so much graphics like they did in the arcade. Because remember, the arcade are purpose-built motherboards. So for them to for the designer to get everything that he designed, he can put as much memory in there as possible. Even though it makes it more expensive, they're going to get their money back through all the quarters or the sales of the units and then the people who buy the units will get that money back from uh, from sales or from from quarters being pumped into the thing but look just look how nice this is yeah it is a little the the uh, and again this whole isometric thing is a little tough it's not easy it's easier in the arcade obviously because they designed it better but this one is way better look at this I mean if you wanted to bring the arcade home and you saw this ColecoVision game and you love Zaxxon that's what you're doing ooh multiple levels okay we're out in space now oh no well that's different it's a longer part of the island hmm now we're in space Oh, and I died. No, just just look at it. I mean, it, it, this is just a beautiful piece of work. Whoever programmed this for the ColecoVision really knuckled down. Oh shit! And it got the, got the job done. But again, see, there's there's a lot of things missing. There's a lot of details. Uh, UFOs. That's different. You know they really went to town and and try and put as much detail in there with the limitation of the memory I mean that's what developers back then did and that's how they were superstars back then they did things with so little uh, come on come on come on hit that with so little resources and pulled off miracles like this I mean that that was those were developers back then I'm not saying anything less about the developers now they they pull off amazing things now too but back then 
you had so little to work with. I mean, this is totally worth it. Oh, I got Zaxxon coming. He looks different. Oh, got the rocket. That was fast. Oh, level two, 1800 points. And here we go. I'm going to go through the second level here. Uh, and that's it for me. John. Okay, folks. Uh, this is the end of the video. So my overall, my overall, uh, what's it called? Consensus of this whole thing. The Atari 2600 version should not even be counted. It was completely crap. So I'm not even going to rate that. What I'm going to rate is the Coleco version, uh, ColecoVision version of this. And just because on their attempt and on their just their unbelievable attempt and work on this I'm gonna give them a 9 out of 10 just because I mean it's not perfect but damn is it really good compared to to like the Atari 2600 or even compared to the original uh, arcade anyways that's it for today folks we'll talk to you later